All right, yo guys, Jushimak2 here, and today I am back, and I'm going to be showing you how to install, and also going to be doing a review of Sim Toolkit Pro. Alright guys, so here we are on the Sim Toolkit Pro website and first things first, I just want to say this is completely free, okay? This is free, the, the pro part makes it sound as paid, it's not, it's completely free, okay? Um, so before I show you what it actually is, I'm going to show you how to install it real quick. It's super, super easy and it's actually a separate application which then links to your Xplain, okay? So, all you need to do is you can go on their website and there'll be a big download button if I can show you here uh, come here download now and so I'm on Windows most of you will be on Windows so you can just click download and it will download to your downloads folder okay so here you can see this application you can just open that run through the installation and that is it that is the installation done okay so you can close out that and go into Sim Toolkit Pro. So this is the application. So first thing is what you're gonna do, it might prompt you to do this, I can't remember, but if you if it's not, go to settings, explain setup. Um, now this works for prepare 3D as well. I've not tried it with prepare 3D, only explain. Okay, so explain you can um, click find install and select your explain 11 folder, and then all you do is click in install plugin and done, it's connected. Right, um, you can run a test, but it, it should auto connect. Okay. Next thing is that it might ask you to log into your SimBrief account. Now, what SimBrief is is a soft. Well, it's not a software. It's a website which will, which will help you plan your routes when you're doing a flight. So I can go to dispatch, a flight plan, a uh, new flight, and this is what I used to use to. Get my flight route so for example when i'm going from i don't know la to uh san francisco i would put uh you know departing uh clax or la arriving ksfo san francisco put my airframe which is generally the 737-8 and it will give me my route and it'll give me my map as well now this you can make an account, it's really easy, just make an account, put your username, password, email, things like that, and that's it. So Sim Toolkit Pro will use your SimBrief account for the flight planning, okay? So it's all integrated into one software, which is what I really love about it, um, instead of having to go on the website. So for example, I'm gonna generate a new flight, and say I want to do, so there you go, LA to, SFO, which I've already done this flight now aircraft what you're gonna have to do is go to your profile fleet and you can see my fleet of aircraft now obviously in x I've got many more aircraft however I'm just adding the ones which I do regular flights with so to add a aircraft you can do manage fleet scan explain and just let it detect it all right there you go so it's gonna separate for example this is my this is a regular 737 actually um not the zebo but it's gonna think that all your different variations so you can have you know delta luxair ryanair the, these are just different liveries but it thinks they're different aircraft okay however when it comes to flying you can use whichever livery you want it doesn't make any difference so all you can do is say i want to select my Zebo 737 Here, yeah, so Zebo 738 and I've done Jet 2 so I can do my Jet 2 and all I do is add to fleet And you can select the airframe so this is a Boeing 738 so 737-800 Where is it? It is Here 738 uh, Airline doesn't matter you can put whatever you want and that's it you can click OK I'm not going to I've already done it and you will have your first aircraft right over here. 
And then so you can go back to flight planning and it's erased everything. So I'm just gonna quickly redo everything. Here we go. Now we can put uh, Boeing 738. There it is. Now ignore the airline code. I know that's for EasyJet. No, that is Jet 2. My bad. Anyway, I, I'm not sure. But yeah, so flight, this can be whatever. Uh, call sign will be just LS4123, but that depends on what you have here and what on what you have in this grey box. It's not showing it. And that grey box. Okay. And that's it. You know, generate plan. And as you can see, it uses SimBrief. So you will need to log in. Uh, I'm going to log in real quick, guys. All right, guys. So I've now logged in, and you can see it's processing. It's going to calculate the route, and it's just it's just the exact same as if you were using the SimBrief website. And there you go. Um, you can ignore this unless you want to update your nav data and air rack. I'm not too bothered. And there you go. You know, so it's showing you your route over here. Shows you all of this information, and I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is. I think that's longitude, latitude, and course. And yeah, so this will, this is technically our route. Okay, so we'll come out here, all the way along the coast, straight into San Francisco. Okay, now then, when you load up X plane and you know you're in your 737 code and dark and all that, you can click fly now. And I've not got X plane running, you can ignore this, it should work for you. Um, yeah, just ignore this for now. We can see here it shows you your OFP. It sh it just shows you everything, guys. Okay, guys, and so it shows you your charts and maps, just like SimBrief does. Just here, you have a scratch pad, and you also have a summary of all your waypoints. Okay, but I won't recommend using this. I will just use what's here. Okay, so it also shows you, you know, your elevation of the airport. Uh, the length of the runway that you are going to be using tells you your runway. Uh, your transition altitude for that area. Your weight. How much fuel. How much. What your payload is. Tells you all your radio stuff. So if you're using ATC. Uh, also your ATIS which is the main one I use. Because I'm not on a network. So I'm literally just using ATIS. Tells you your meter. So you can get your altimeter setting. And your TAF. Uh, and it shows you that for both airports, except from uh, load for your arrival airport, since you don't need it for your arrival airport. Okay, so next thing, it will also have a live map. Okay, so we can see here, these are other people that are currently using Sim Toolkit Pro. However, I am still, I'm not on a network. And it tells me my route. So if... You can, you can also use this, you can say you're going to Mike, Kilo, Golf, Echo, Echo, then Dark, then Summer, then Olaf, and etc. Okay? If your flat plan messes up slightly. And it also gives you an airport map if you zoom in enough, so for taxi. And it will show you your aircraft. Again, I'm currently not in X-Plane, so it's not going to show me my aircraft location, but it will show you your aircraft location as a little grey aircraft symbol. Okay, so again, if I zoom into uh, LA, say I'm at gate, I'm somewhere here at this gate, and I can see exactly where I need to go. It This is just great. This isn't even the only thing it does. So from here, you can also add a kind of streaming overlay. So it tells you your, it has your altitude, your speed, your route, whatever you want, as you can see down the left hand side here so if you're streaming making videos whatever it's super super easy for that as well you can have my profile it also has an inbuilt logbook so it logs all your flights so you can see obviously i've done more flights in the past however these are the flights i've done since i've been using sim toolkit pro um and you can view absolutely everything so if i go to my first flight which was LAX 2K is a photo, it shows you your flight profile, so you can see my ascent, um, then my cruise, and my descent as well, and my OFP if I was to want to do the flight again. My flight map, and landing details, tells you everything you want about landings, 
Uh, and these are all your landings as well, so you can see my landings have been pretty decent, apart from this one. Um, but yeah, it, it's great. You can schedule flights if you want to. You have your fleet of aircrafts, I have a 747, which is EasyJet, ignore that. I know that's not real, but I just had to put anything random. Uh, we have, I've got my Cirrus SS50 Vision Jet as well. It's great. And it's obviously it shows you all the routes. So this is when I did EGNX to EGLC in the Vision Jet. That was super fun. That wasn't my actual route. In fact, I might be able to show you my route. Where is it? Flight map. There we go. This was my route. It was a bit of a stupid route. Uh, pff, but I went along with it. When I, that went out here, just over the coast, turned around and flew straight kind of through River Thames straight to the airport. Okay, it's great, honestly. Now, I will be redoing more videos on how to use this flight planning side of stuff and then how to integrate that with X-Plane and actually fly the route uh, in this Boeing 737 Zebra mod. Okay, so that will be a video coming out shortly. But other than that, it's great to be making videos regularly again, guys. I'm really loving it, and if you if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.